I'm making a grape leaf doma, and as you see this year, my cabernet one has pretty good grape leaves on it. So I picked some yesterday. I actually asked my mom to pick some. You like to pick the really young and soft leaves so they'll cook faster. They're not very large, so it's going to be, a, you know, very tiny dolmas, but very fresh. So this is how you just find those that are nice and soft. <clears throat> Then I'm going to show you the greens, the herbs that I'm going to use in it. The first important one is the dill. In grape leaves, you always have to have dill. Now I have to be very careful with my dill because I have a butterfly that comes every day and puts eggs on my dill. So I want those eggs to stay alive. So I'll pick the leaves that don't have the butterfly eggs. There's two. Let's see if this one. They're a little tiny yellow color. A little, little tiny. They're very tiny. So I think this is, this is fine. I'm going to pick this whole thing. Oh, sometimes I find them afterward. Yeah, there is one. I'm going to put it back. Hopefully it will survive. There we go. Sorry, baby. Now those little tiny eggs are going to turn into this. There it is, a caterpillar starting eating the dill. Now the next one is parsley. So I have herbs that are chopped already, but I wanted to show you the herbs that I used. So parsley, this is Italian parsley actually. It's the flat leaf parsley I used. I also have cilantro. My cilantro is very little, so my friend actually gave me some cilantro. So I use that. The cilantro partially almost look the same, except that the leaves of cilantro, they're softer and um, they're smaller, of course, but softer too, not as rough looking. I have a lot of shallots or green onion on that side of the garden, so I'm going to go pick some of that. It won't hurt to add more. And these are my shallot shoots, which they look just like green onion. And I have a ton, so I'm very happy. I can use as much as possible. I'm going to pick some of these awesomeness. The more onion you have in dolma, the better tasting dolma it is. So these are our green onions. We did parsley, cilantro, green onion, and dill. So now we will go inside and we will start on our dolma. The grape leaf dolma. So what I brought in from my backyard, I already chopped it. And I started with two onions. I'm sauteing the onion. And the reason is two onions because the way Assyrians eat dolma, we make a sauce with onion pepper and tomato paste or tomato sauce. And we also make a yogurt sauce. So there's dolma, tomato sauce, yogurt sauce. It's three different things that goes on top of each other. And that's how we eat our doma, which is very different from everybody else, <laughs> I can say. So the onion, two onions are sauteing here. What I like to do is, instead of sauteing two dishes of onion and two dishes, you know, having it in two dishes, I will just do all the onion and pepper here, take part of it, put it in this pot, and I will have the second pot of onion and pepper for my tomato sauce. So we make our own tomato sauce with onion, pepper, tomato sauce, or paste. So that's going to go in there. Now for the dolma, I don't have to really caramelize the onions long. I can take some of these and start the process of the dolma. Or you can wait till all the 
onions are nicely caramelized, light brown, and then take it here. So I'm going to start this one on its own and start doing my doma. Since my cameraman says this is going to take too long. We're going to put a little bit of uh, each pepper, whatever pepper you have, it's going to work. Anaheim, Poblano, green bell pepper, even red. It's going to be a little bit red in the dolma. So I have serrano. It's a very mild spicy. It's not like a jalapeno. It has great taste. So if you can find some serrano, you really, really going to have a delicious food. And you don't have to use a lot. For the food to be tasty. So I'm going to use some of it here, some of it in that dish. This is our sauce right here. So all it needs to do is caramelize the onion real well and then I'm going to pour the tomato sauce there. And usually in this dish we use a lot of oil. I don't have enough oil but I'm going to try to see if I can work it that way. Uh, my mom was making it, we would have half a liter of oil in this dish. <laughs> That's the old fashioned way. <laughs> lots of oil, lots of flavor. So now the herbs, like I told you, they are green onion, dill, parsley and cilantro. And we chopped them already so we won't take time for that. I'll just take this handful of herbs and you will drop some, it's okay, don't worry about it. And the herbs won't cook that long, so I'm just going to leave them there for a minute. That's about it. And we'll add salt, because the grape leaves are fresh. So I definitely need to add salt. If they were grape leaves that were marinated in salt water, you wouldn't need salt at all or you would need very little salt. So if you're purchasing grape leaves that are in a jar, you wouldn't use as much salt. So very carefully with the salt. Uh, I, I cook very low salt food anyway, so this is still not enough, a teaspoon or so. Now this is almost ready to fold the grape leaves. Then I have a cup of rice here. Actually, very little greens. Depending how much greens you have, you have to pour the rice and mix it. So it won't be a cup, it will be like half a cup for these greens. Because the rice shouldn't look more than greens. You have to have more greens than rice. So this is about half a cup. And if you had more, that's okay. You just have more rice to eat. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. And now... I usually just wrap my leaves in the same pot. I don't like to wash too many pots. So what I do, I push them on one side and use the same pot to wrap the leaves. And I'll show you how to wrap a couple of them and then we will do the rest so you don't have to watch me wrap the whole leaf. Dolma. What you have usually on even the ones that are in a jar, you have a stem still hanging there. You clip that. And then this is very tiny leaf. Sometimes when they're so small, we put two together. And then you put right in the middle, you put your stuffing, and you fold. I will show you on a larger one. This is the harder one. So you fold. I fold mine like a square. So the larger one will be a little bit easier. So you fold this part first. 
side, side, and top. A lot of people do roll them. I like the folding part. So, one, two, three, four. Very simple. Hold them tight so it won't open. And after that, after all of these leaves are done, I have hot water ready. I'll pour the hot water about almost close to the top. Put the lid on. The rice takes 20 minutes to cook, so that's... You'll check it after 20 minutes. Check for the leaves if they're chewable. If you can chew the leaves fine, then your dome is ready. And I'm still working on the sauce. We will show you how everything gets together. Um, but I'm going to also show you real quick how I make my yogurt sauce. I usually make my own yogurt. It's uh, very easy to make it, so I might have a class on that. So I have my yogurt here. What you do, put some garlic cloves in there, depending how much garlic you like, and some salt. And that's all it is for the yogurt sauce. And then after that, if you didn't finish all of it for the dolma, I chop some of the fresh herbs and create an herb yogurt sauce. You can use it for chips or a side dish next to any dish that you are eating. It's very good for you. I'm putting four in here. That's going to be pretty spicy, but that's how I like it. You don't have to put four. Just put one or two. That will be plenty. So, And then I'm going to put some salt and mix it. Like a half a teaspoon or so. This is the most delicious part. Well, everything together is just delicious. You never had dolma unless you had a Syrian dolma. I promise. Our onions are nicely light brown color, just beautiful. The best color that I have ever <laughs> seen in onions. I'm putting some tomato paste and tomato sauce. Tomato paste has more taste than tomato sauce does for some reason, or I just like it more. And I have both, so I'm using both. If you're using one or the other, for the tomato sauce, you wouldn't need any water. For the tomato paste, after you brown it a few minutes, you need to pour water and make it uh, a little bit more liquid. So, I'm going to use some tomato sauce here also. But you can definitely do either or. Don't feel that you have to do both. I'm just trying to see if I'm putting tomato sauce. Do I need to put water or not? So this is an experiment for me. So I'm always teaching myself too at the same time, trying to teach others. So we all learn at the same time. This sauce, it has to simmer for at least 10 minutes to become rich and flavorful so I have to leave it cooking for that long now I wanted to show you how the dolmas came out about 25 minutes of cooking you see the rice is fully cooked the leaves are 
chewable. So I put a few dolmas there to show you the way it's going to look. I put that. And then I'm going to just use some of this sauce for now. But you have to cook it at least for 10 minutes. So you put that. So there's red, green, red. And there is the tomato, the yogurt sauce, white on top. It's beautiful, it's delicious. Usually people eat more than one or two dolmas. So that's why I had six there. And when the sauce cooks longer, it usually pours better. It kind of comes down. So now it's still holding to each other. But I'm going to let it cook and get tastier. Happy cooking. Enjoy cooking and don't be afraid of any herbs, fresh herbs or any food. Just do it. Just go for it and enjoy it.